Yes, um, but uh, it was good being back home. I mean, I re- you realise I, I hadn't been back home. I didn't I hadn't seen my family or anything um, for for a year and a half, and I realised how much I'd missed all the people. What I re- was that snorting or burping? Are you all right? <laughs> you can't tell from him. Don't know if it's laughter or indigestion. Do you want a Gaviscon? I don't know. <laughs> but I um. I got to see all these people and I realised I just missed so many of them, but one of them I'd missed the most, I didn't realise, was my best friend's mum, right? I missed my own mum as well, she, don't tell her, but my best friend's mum. To give you an idea of what she's like, right, uh, we once had an argument for 45 minutes because she thought guacamole was a country. No! <laughs> right? But I'd been, uh, I'd been asking her, I was like, what's been going on in lockdown? And she, she'd gone on the dating apps, right? But this is beautiful. She's because she's in like her late fifties now, and I don't know if anyone else knows this, but there's a lot of scam artists going on with targeting women in their late fifties, right? But she was onto it. She was clued up, apparently. I was like, she just said to me, she's like, the thing is though, as I'm not using my real name to keep my identity hidden. I was like, the fact that's got pictures of you plastered everywhere, that's all right, is it? She went, no, I'm using it. the name she's used. She's like, I've called myself Universe. I was like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> She was like, they'll never guess, and that's where it's completely anonymous. I was like, right, and what did you do on your first date? And she went, oh, I invited him round. I was like, fucking hell! <laughs> your tits, what are you doing? Doesn't know your name, but your address. Yeah, I'll never clock that one. But when she was initially setting up the apps, right, she was going through, and uh, one of them said, oh, what are, you, what are you looking for? And I asked her, I said, well, what, what are you looking for? Now, to this day, I think she meant to say she was looking for somebody who was either conscientious or had a good sense of conscience, right? <laughs> but what she came out with was, to be honest with you, Lou, I'm just looking for somebody who's conscious. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> just let me tell you, it's no wonder your dating life's going tits up if all you're doing is dating unconscious men. <laughs> we can take Poirot off that investigation. I've solved it. Fuck <laughs> now. But she was, having, she was having a go, right, on these dating apps, right? Oh, swipey, swipey, like all this. And uh, one bloke came up and he just said, uh, he said, oh, look, I don't know what I'm looking for on this app, but one thing I can tell you is I have a specific side of the bed, right? Now, I was like, red flag. But she was like, come on. And I said, that's weird. And my best friend said, I don't think that's weird. She said, I, for example, I have a specific, I have to sleep on the left side of the bed because I'm right-handed. <laughs> And she said, the main reason I do that is because if at any point during the night my boyfriend wants me to wank him off, it's much easier to do with my dominant hands. Um, To which my best friend's mum said, I don't think that really applies to me because I just sort of sleep in the middle and starfish. So I guess that means technically I could do two at a time. I was like, yes! What a legend! Because let me tell you, that's what I'd look for in a woman if they had the ability to be ambi-wankstress. What a fucking skill! Yes, please. 